it's Margaret, Texas Scale Treasures. In this video, I'm going to be reviewing some products that I got from Redbubble to check out the quality and to see if this is a print-on-demand site that might be something you want to look into. So if you are doing print-on-demand, leave a comment down below and let me know what print-on-demand sites you are using. Check out the comments section to see what people's opinions are on the different print-on-demand sites, whether it's Merch by Amazon, Teespring, Redbubble, Printful, or all the different ones that are out there so you can see which one might be a good fit for you. So let's take a look at some of the products that I bought from Redbubble. Okay, so I didn't buy my own products again. I bought from my sister-in-law's site. Um, this is her artwork, Holly Michener, and this is her site, The Art Flirt. She is what I consider an amazing artist. She really does a lot of cool stuff. And if you want to check out her portfolio, her bio, her contact, um, or just her, her her process of how she creates her art, check out her website um, at Holly Michener right here. So I went to her Redbubble store, The Art Flirt, and picked out a few things. Now one of her paintings, I have my eyeballs on because I really want it, but I can't afford it. So um, I really was happy that she created some products for St. Owly. This is St. Owly, which is one that I really love. And uh, yeah, I bought a few things. Now I did buy a t-shirt. I will tell you if you're a mother or a father or a parent and you've got piles of laundry, you will understand that it is somewhere in the piles of everything. Um, but I wore it in another video, which I'll link up here. I wore it in a munch pack unboxing that we did together. And I talked about the shirt a bit there. And she's actually wearing another one of her shirts in the video. So check it out. So let's take a look at some of the things that I picked up from her shop. The first thing I picked up, which I have not put on my phone yet, is the phone case. So this is the St. Alley phone case. It turned out really nice. Um, it's the, the image is good. It just, you know, the placement is really good. So I really enjoyed that. Um, I know, I think Jeff was talking about some of the phone cases, whether he got them from Redbubble, I'll have to ask him, but that he said that they broke easily. So, and he said, I think it was his teenage daughter, so she might be dropping it and things like that. So I'll let you know about the, how it holds up. But overall, it looks pretty good. I mean, it's pretty sturdy, <clears throat> pardon me, and it looks like it's going to fit and do pretty well. The image, the graphic, everything looks good. The next item that I got was a pouch. Now, this was, I'm glad I got it because I actually have created some pouches with some of my things on Redbubble, and I'm noticing, as you can see, that when you tile it, there's a, there's a thing that, where you can tile it, or you can make it bigger or smaller or make more that the more you put on there, the blurrier they are. You can still see St. Alley, but you definitely don't see any of the details of the art, which, you know, it's fine, but it's good to know. So it's a nice pouch though. So I'm gonna have to go through and take a look and see on some of mine if I need to edit the size of the tiling, because I have a feeling if they're bigger, you'll see more of the detailing on those. So there's that pouch that I got. Cool, cool. Next up, I got, so I'm a little bit obsessed with this owl, okay, obviously. I got this pillowcase. I need to go get a pillow to stick in it, but this is the pillowcase. I think it turned out really nice. So, yeah, there's this. Let's hold it back a bit. I need to get the case for it. So she's got it on both sides of the case, and then it's got a zipper on the bottom where you put the, the pillow in. Somehow you fit it in that little old spot. Maybe I just stuff it. Is that what I do? How are you supposed to fill the pillow? I guess you just squish it. You put the pillow in and then you can zip it up. So very cool. I'm excited about that pillow for my St. Owly. Mm -hmm. And then I also got a notebook. And my guys, when they saw this, they were so ecstatic because now they want to make notebooks too with their art on it. So this is the notebook. It's kind of um, matte, if you know what I mean. Like it's not shiny. It seems, you know, a little flimsy. Maybe the hardcover one would have been more what I was looking for, um, but for as far as the price went, I went with the spiral bound. And it just seems like, you know, a color copy on some maybe cardstock or something for the cover, which I guess for the price was okay. So what was the price on this one? I'll go through the pricing in just a second to show you. And I think, you know, you can set your own prices on Redbubble as well. So there's that. I was kind of hoping, you see how the this one is a bit more clear and shiny and crisp. I was kind of wanting that for my journal, but I, like I said, I have a feeling if I did the hardcover journal that it would have been more like this. And again, I'll link the shirt, the video where I'm wearing the shirt in um, 
in the notes here or after. So let's take a look at some of the prices. So I got the iPhone and this was $27. I don't have the iPhone X, so I have the 6S Plus. So is that different? Yeah, it's about 27 bucks. Um, I was totally fine with that. Like I said, I'm totally obsessed with this owl. I really wanted to buy the painting. I have art prints of it already from when she put out prints of it before. So I did not share that. So here's the throw pillow. I just got the pillow case. So I only wanted the cover. So I think, yeah, that's what I got. So 20 bucks for that. Don't start adding up how much I spent. It's all for my, <laughs> it's all for family, right? And then this, see how it looks? It looks like it's really clear, right, in the pictures on here. But when you get it, it's definitely not. It's definitely fuzzy. But it certainly looks on the pouch like it is very crisp and detailed, but it's not. So I got, what is this, a 6 by 4 So that was $12.50. You know, but that's good to know. That's quite a difference, isn't it? So it does. It looks so clear and crisp on there. So not at all the same. Not, not your fault, Holly, if you're watching this. This is why we're reviewing this for Redbubble. And then the journal, <clears throat> see there was a spiral. Okay, there's not a hard one. I wonder if you can make a hardcover one. So here's a spiral. And I mean, it looks like it looks like what it looks like, right? So it's fine. What is that? That's just the art. That's the art. And that's that. So you can kind of see it does look kind of matte and brushed out a bit. So those, was that everything? Oops, there goes that. Okay. So those were the things that I picked up. I was going to share real fast. Um, I didn't have my shirt from Holly's store, the St. Alley shirt. But again, like I said, I'll link it. But I did have my shirt. This is from my print bowl on Etsy. I bought the size is way bigger than I expected, <laughs> but it turned out good. So this was a, a 2XL. <laughs> Maybe I should have known. It's, it was really big. So sometimes yeah, it just with sizing, like sometimes XL, if, okay, I'm a girl that has girl chesticles and <laughs> I need extra space. So I thought, well, maybe let me try the 2XL. It'll be a little loose, you know, and cozy. Well, it's definitely cozy. Um, so this was, again, from the Printful Etsy integration. Um, this is the three-quarter sleeve because I like a three-quarter sleeve shirt like so, but it is really big. So this is my Santa shirt that I got from that that I made. Okay, <clears throat> so those are the things that I picked up from Redbubble. Let me know your experience and the things that you found out. Um, I've definitely learned that with the pouch, I'm going to need to go do some editing on that because they are not going to come out like it shows in the picture. It's going to be a little bit blurry. So definitely, definitely check out Redbubble and let me know what you think about their products. Thanks for watching so much, you guys, and I will talk to you later. Bye. Mm -hmm.